the four rules of deep work. Rule number one, work deeply. Rule number two, embrace boredom. Rule number three, quit social media. Rule number four, drain the shallows. Rule number one, work deeply. It's not enough to have the intention to work more deeply. We need to systematically install new routines and rituals to create the new habits that will lead to more and more deep work. This is a hallmark of great humans. Rule number two, embrace boredom. For some reason these days, the moment we have a lull in our lives, whether that's a few minutes before a friend arrives for lunch or in line at the grocery store or whatever, most of us immediately grab our smartphone and compulsively check out whatever we think we need to see right this second. We have about a hundredth of a second of tolerance for boredom. If we want to create the capacity for more deep work, then feeding that beast is not a good idea. Rather than immediately flail around in the shallow end of the distraction pool, we need to embrace boredom. Use those moments to think or breathe deeply. Anything other than our habitual, addictive, impulsive, attention paper cutting behaviors. Rule number 3 Quit social media. If there's a poster child for shallow living, it's social media. Just because there's a little benefit to things like social media, for example, staying connected to old friends, etc., it doesn't mean it's actually worth the time we give it. If we really want to live deeply, working and loving, we can do better than fritter away our time on social media. The bold among us shall quit it. Rule number 4. Drain the shallows. The Shallows is the name of a book written capturing the essence of superficial living. As we cultivate deep work, we need to systematically drain the shallow from our lives. How do we do this? Schedule every minute of every day. Not to drive yourself crazy, but to bring more mindfulness to your day. We want to create big time blocks. Then, of course, be flexible as things evolve during the day but bring yourself back to your commitment to use your time consciously as you drain the shallows. Routines to Ritualize Deep Work That brings me to the motivating idea behind the strategies that follow. The key to developing a deep work habit is to move beyond good intentions and add routines and rituals to your working life designed to minimize the amount of your limited willpower necessary to transition into and maintain a state of unbroken concentration. If you suddenly decide, for example, in the middle of a distracted afternoon spent web browsing, to switch your attention to a cognitively demanding task, you'll draw heavily from your finite willpower to wrest your attention away from the online shininess. Such attempts will therefore frequently fail. On the other hand, if you deployed smart routines and rituals perhaps a set time and quiet location used for your deep tasks each afternoon you'd require much less willpower to start and keep going. In the long run, you'd therefore succeed with these deep efforts far more often. Cal Newport 4 Philosophies to Ritualize Deep Work Monastic Philosophy Think of a monk in a monastery, removed from the little distractions of normal life. You're essentially unplugged from the matrix and focused. It's not for everybody but an extraordinarily productive approach if you can pull it off. Bimodal philosophy, in this mode, you alternate between a monastic approach and a normally engaged mode. Rhythmic philosophy, basic idea here is captured in Jerry Seinfeld's chain method habit of writing a joke every day. In this mode, we are less attached to a particular schedule and committed to having a rhythm of consistently creating, where, like, Seinfeld, we don't want to break the chain of successful showing up and completing our daily deep work. Journalistic philosophy, in this mode, like a journalist who's ready to write on deadline whenever the situation arises, you fit deep work into your schedule whenever you can. Check the links in the description for more mind-enhancing content. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.